looking at it. Just looking at our favorite magazine, courtesy of Angelina. Thanks, Angelina. Wow. Okay. Woo. Woo. I don't know. I'm taking this right now. Okay. okay. What we want to do? We want to introduce a fabulous guest. We want to introduce the mentalist Mysterion to the show. Woo! Thanks, Mysterion. This guy's going to freak us out. I'm so well, excited. We're so excited to have you on the show. Thank you. Look at his, all his goodies and all that. So take it away. Show us what you're going to do. Well, I'm very interested in all things strange and unusual. So and am I. when I thought to come on the show, I'm going to share with you a sort of a across-the-board idea of what it is that I do. I'm a mentalist, and I play around with the unknown, the supernatural, the paranormal. But that also includes mind over matter. And I remember when I was a little kid, I used to do all sorts of nasty, horrible things. Really? And, and scare the neighborhood kids, you know? One of the things that I was really famous for... Wow. For doing when I was a little kid is is this and it, it, don't try this at home okay I gotta I gotta <laughs> warn you this is not very safe unless you're a trained professional like myself uh, I have some beads here some orange beads and I'm gonna eat one now I know there's nothing really exciting about that but oh I can't handle it <laughs> and you can just kind of watch this weird ability that I have to if I can actually push it through my skin. Now, look, there's nothing in my hand. I'm not going to just push it through my skin. You can watch my eye and actually squirt oh. it on my tear duct. And you'll notice that there it goes. Oh, there it is. Ah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't first, handle it. I'm going to throw up. The first she's screaming. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't handle these things. I'm no, sorry. Listen, be oh, my God. Oh, that's first, so weird. Honestly, <laughs> I'll take I'm actually a good guy. Don't, don't be afraid. She's quick freaking second, out. Okay. Quick second. Why don't we take a break? We'll take a break. We'll be right back in a second. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a ring. We'll take a ring. We'll ring the hat. to the show. Obviously, you can tell that we had a little bit of a glitch problem there. Ash, you okay? You okay? Okay. Ready to continue? Yeah. Mysterion, ready to continue? I'm ready to continue. Are you out there ready to continue in TV land? Because this guy's going to freak us out. <laughs> Let's go. Let's rock it. Listen. Okay. I don't know what else I can say right now. <laughs> uh, well, we're still friends. Yeah. 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 Uh, I love strange things. And, you know, I'm a collector of the bizarre. And one of the strangest things that I've acquired lately, I've been fascinated by medicine my entire life and the, the ability that uh, people can go through much, uh, so, so through much uh, pain. Uh, in this case, there was not a lot of pain on my behalf. But... but you know, archaic medicine was, was yeah. painful. The, the, uh, the, the anesthetics didn't exist. And one of the methods that, I, um, that I've been fascinated as goes back to the caveman times is trepanning. Now, trepanning is removing holes out of a head to relieve brain pressure or, or hold on, or in some cases, if you are, have a demon in your mind, especially in an, in an old world mentality when people thought that you'd have, you know, you were possessed. So I actually have something here I want to share with you guys. Yeah, this, I'm love this it, is, love it. This is an actual, this Sorry, is an Ash. actual trepanned human skull cap from about 1850. Wow. It's the Neil McCoy, <laughs> and you can tell that the person survived because the holes have healed over. Now, where am I going with this? I don't know. Well, I'm going into your head is <laughs> okay. where I'm going with this, and I'm going into my own head as well. You see, I allowed you to think of a word earlier on. I asked you to think of any word at all yeah. that came to your mind. I yeah. didn't give you a book or anything. You thought it. You wrote it. You put it under that piece of paper, and I've not been there. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, if I could go into your head right now and extract that word, that would really freak you out, wouldn't it? If I could actually see that word in your mind. Yeah. It would spook you out a little bit <laughs> in the swallowing of a bee. Okay. Now, in order for me to get into her head, we got to use a hammer. Okay. okay? And we got to use a, a four inch <laughs> galvanized steel gutter spike. Woo! Love okay? It. So, can I just ask you to come here for a second? No, no, no. No, I'm him. just kidding. <laughs> if, if I was, was going to do something like that, 
If I was going to do something like that, I would have to do it to myself. And I'm not going to go in here because that's going to cause a, uh, a ratings oh, problem. But we are. Close your eyes. Okay, no, we okay, are go on, go, go on. Oh, right I in. See this. <laughs> right in there. So we're going to open look, up. Go look, go look. We're going to open up. Hey, hey, Ashley. I took it out. I took it out. I took it out. I took it out. Hey, don't look. No, I she's going to go it. No, I, I okay. took it out. No, no, don't worry. No. <laughs> so, okay, go ahead. I can't. I'll so that's the case. Oh, Ashley, I want you to think of your word. I want you to We're going to go into your mind now, Ashley. Think of your word. I want you to think of your word, Ashley. Okay. Think of your word, Ashley. Think of your word. Now I'm going to take, now, now tell her it's out. Tell her it's, it's out. out. Now. It's out now. It's out. It's out. It's out, Ashley. It's out, Ash. Ashley, it's Ashley out. I took it out. I have it's a out. present for you. You can okay. have that if you want. <laughs> she, she doesn't know where that's been. Okay. So, Ashley, you've been thinking of that word. Is that right? Yeah. Now, think about it. See, all that has just been a mental distraction. That's my evil doctor powers trying to get your head in another space. Because now I'm in your mind. Yeah. You're thinking of a three-letter word, aren't you? <laughs> Beginning with a J. <laughs> now she's feeling, she doesn't know how to feel. This, this is fine. This, <laughs> awesome. I, can handle, I can't handle these kind of things. Uh, the, the fact that I'm in your mind and I know every secret, including last Wednesday afternoon, you're fine with that? Wednesday afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> you're I wish. Um, <laughs> I wish. Um, are you thinking of the word joy? Yes. Isn't that weird? Wow, that's very For weird. no reason whatsoever. That is the word that's in her mind. And that's what I do. And I've been fascinated with the weird and the unexplained since I was a kid. And so I've taken my life and have dedicated it to the study of mm -hmm. the unknown, whether it be strange medicine or mind over matter, such as the nail or... In that's this case, that's wild. I love that he can that's read wild. my mind. That's, that's wild. Amazing. That's you know? really wild. So how that's you... what I do. I combine all these things into a fun show. How you got into this world. Like, that's amazing. Like, I don't... like. How did you do this? Like, where did you get this? Did it just start when you were young and when you became I was, psychic? And well, not really psychic. And when it comes to this type of yeah. thing with the mind reading or the thought reading, yeah. I like to say everyone can do this with the right training. You know, we knew what was in his mind when he was looking at the magazine. We don't have to be <laughs> mind readers, right? No, definitely. So, so, you know, that's what I'm getting at. But, um, but that being said, um, you know, it takes a lot of training, <laughs> a lot of dedication. I've been doing this for, uh, well, about two decades. Uh, uh, Fortunately, as a as a career for the past decade, and I know you got a lot of stuff. I have so, all sorts yeah, of fun let's, stuff. Let's you want to see some let's pieces from my? Again. Okay, well, this piece here is, is not so creepy as it is cute. Okay, but this piece is actually um, an authentic two-headed duck. It probably only lived for hours, and it's been mounted. And it's the real McCoy. And this is wow. a piece from my collection. I have about 200 different pieces that are similar to this. Very cool. I have Kampala skulls from Tibet. And I have uh, a mummy's hand and all sorts of different things. And medical devices, archaic, strange torture tools from the Inquisition. All sorts of interesting pieces of history that people seem to have forgotten. Very so this cool. here is a, a wonderful piece. You can pet him if you like. It's okay. He's not going to bite you. I'll pet him. You can pet him. He's soft, right? He's nice. Go ahead. Seriously, just, it's okay. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not gonna bite you. I promise it won't bite you. It's not gonna bite you. I'll, I'll pet him. Oh, ah, yeah. Don't do that. Stop it. Stop it. So, that's a nice little piece right there. Baby. She's not gonna ever want me back again, right? She won't want me back. Now, this is a really cool piece that okay. I actually got when I was traveling in Europe. This piece comes from Italy, and it's a stigmat, a stigmatist or a stigmata, the, 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 the bleeding of the hands. Okay. It's a, a, a religious miracle in some cases. People think it's a, a sign of, uh, of a devotion to, uh, to, to Christ, let's just okay. say in this case. But some people are showing signs of stigmata, unexplained bleeding out of the hands. This is actually two blood clots from a stigmatist's hands from Italy, and I purchased this about 10 years ago. This is the real McCoy. So this, you know, whatever it is, whether yeah. it's, uh, you know, hemophilia, or if, he, if there's a divine miracle, I'm there to document it, collect it, and share it. So you can take a look at that. That's, that, very that's the cool. real McCoy. Wow. So that's just another example of one of the things that I would have. Mm -hmm. And then this is one of my favorite. This one goes back about 500 years. This is a okay. new specimen. But these used to tour in the sideshows as mermaids. And, of course, P.T. Barnum is famous for the Fiji mermaid. He displayed it in New York. And it just 
was an absolute sensation. Okay. So these are uh, the mermaids that were made by sailors at ports, and they would sell them to tourists, and circuses would uh, actually purchase these and tour them around. This here is known as a Jenny Hanover, or a human-faced fish. And it is a uh, gaff, which in sideshow terms... You have terms, amazing stuff. I this have, is great. Oh, you wouldn't even know the start of it. I have, I have walls and walls of this stuff. <laughs> this is an actual Jenny Hanover. This one is identical to the ones that would have been displayed uh, in the circuses as little creatures that live beneath the sea and, and interact with one another as humans do. And they walk about and they have faces and little arms and almost like a mermaid. You always have like a museum at I home. I have a museum. Yeah, My home you must. It's, a museum. it's like wow. the Adams Family. The house is a museum where That's people great. come to see them, you know? Wow. So I love doing these types of things. And of course, magic is a huge part of my life and the magic of sharing the unknown. And of course, the magic of, uh, well, magic in a sense, mm -hmm. a mentalism and even sleight of hand and that sort of thing is something that I love to do. Who is, who is your sort of mentor in your mind? Well, like I, mean, I mean, you know, you got the amazing Kreskin growing okay. up in, you know, dare I say, in the 70s. And yeah. the, I know I only look 25, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. but watching him was, was, was fascinating. Was it fascinating? You know, yeah. I love the idea that he could walk into a room and look at everybody and know their security number, social security number, or their, you know, their license plate or that. That's really thing. cool. He's a superpower. Yeah. And, you know, he's not fl flying is unrealistic. We know that you can't fly. Superman isn't really flying. But this was a possibility. This was somebody who had he an ability. He used to be all over the TV too, Chris. Like on CFTO he's and all. I remember. I, rem I remember growing up watching him, and, and I was same as you. But I never, I never really, I guess, got the the bug that you got because yeah. I know I couldn't do it. But you can do it. I everyone can do it with the right trick. If you have it. as much time to waste as I do, everyone can. Do it. <laughs> That's all I know, right? So if people Thank want to you. check out your website, Mysterio, where can they go and all I'm that? All over the net. All you need to really do is just type the name Mysterion into any search engine wow. and my website's going to come up immediately. And before we let you go, give us a couple of places where you performed and some of the celebrities that, along the way that you met. Well, I've met like all sorts of people over the years. I mean, sports figures, pro wrestlers. I work with some of the people that are WWE legends. In fact, today, uh, one of the Bushwhackers called me because he oh. couldn't get me over the holidays. Wow. No. I was sick, yeah. I remember so that. He called me up. So I've, I've encountered all sorts of different people and sometimes I even invite them to be on my show. I do a lot of shows, uh, not only in the GT but across the country into wow. New York City. I'm there in about three weeks' time. Wow. And I do a lot of different stuff, not only as a solo performer, but I'm a producer of burlesque shows, old world burlesque mm -hmm. shows. So I go up and I entertain, and then I introduce the, the lovely girls who come out and they do these wonderful dances. <laughs> and I go on between the girls, which is, in my opinion, the best place to be. <laughs> I suck in that. Yeah, there you go. Mysterion, again, give us your, your uh, website. It's Mysterion, M Y S T E R I O N, themindreader.com. And listen, I promised, I promised, like I said when we spoke on the phone and you arranged for me to be here, I promised I wouldn't tell anyone what you were doing last Tuesday. <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> so we're good. So we did. That's great. <laughs> well, I want to thank everybody on our show today. What we're going to do, we're going to take a quick break. And we're going to be back with the Phil and John show. Woo! Stay tuned for the Stay Jay Stoyan show with Ashley Monroe. Woo! Woo! Go. 
shining through Believe every word I say Oh yeah Neglected from the world outside you They laugh and talk and call you names Yeah, you yeah, try to make friends, girl But in the end, they push you They push you away Yeah, yeah Show. You gotta That's love right. the name. You gotta love the name. What a great name. Among that, you know what? We are so privileged because we have our own concert every week. This is fantastic. Guys, you guys rock the house. It's Thanks, great. Jay. Well, I really want to thank you guys for coming on today. Really appreciate it. Again, give us your website again. Give us your website. PhilandJohnShow.com. Great, guys. I really want to thank Phil and John Show. I want to thank all of our guests. I want to thank our featured guest, Frank Sinatra Jr. What a guy. I want to thank him. I want to thank from the Trailer Park Boys. I want to thank Bernard Robichaud. See that French name? I'm a Leaf fan, but I can still say Montreal name. So Bernard Robichaud. And I want to thank the fantastic and beautiful Playboy model, Angelina Polska, for coming on today. It was a great show. I want to thank the fans. Make sure you check us out, www.thejstoyanshow.com. I want to thank Fox. And I want to thank Rogers. This is our debut show. So thank you. I want to thank all the fans, too. Woo! Yeah, thank you. We'll see you next week on a Friday. Uh, next Friday on the Jay Stoyan Show with Ashley Monroe. Woo! 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 Yeah. Rock and roll! <laughs>